Pathpilot Quick Tips, Robot Edition. So today I'd like to talk to you about how to jog the robot. There are three different ways to jog this robot, and today I'm going to give you an overview of those three ways to jog, and we'll cover uh, the simplest of the three, which is joint jogging. So here we are on the jog screen of the notebook, and first I'll talk about joint jogging which is exactly what it sounds like. The ability to jog just by moving a single joint. So, for instance, joint one, which is the base joint of the robot, joint two, joint three, joint four, joint five, lastly, joint six. And I should mention, with joint jogging, you can jog in increments, or you can jog continuously. Joint jogging is one of the three ways we can jog the robot. The other two, which will be covered in a later video, are Cartesian jogging. So I can jog in Z, just like a milling machine, I can jog in Z, I can jog in X, I can jog in Y, but unlike uh, our milling machines, we have three other axes. Those are the rotational axes. I can jog in A, which is rotation about the x-axis. I can jog in B, which is rotation about the y-axis. And I can jog in C, which is rotation about the z-axis. And we'll cover that in a subsequent quick tip video. The last way to jog is by clicking and dragging um, the interactive marker. This is the interactive marker here, and you can see I can just drag it around on screen, and I can move the robot to where I've dragged the marker, and we'll be covering that in another Quick Tip video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video and you want more of them, you can subscribe to that thing, or you can link to that thing, or you can do something else with that thing. If you liked that video, sweet. YouTube's algorithm is going to show you my next video. How about that?